They always say prevention is better than cure. And as we see a rise in respiratory illnesses this fall, public health officials say that masks are just one of our best methods of protection against the spread of infection. We're actually getting into the midst of our respiratory illness season. We saw COVID increase in the summer, but it's actually still here in the fall. Influenza is starting, and this is the time when it does start. And then we know as well RSV, which tends to affect our, our really youngest children uh, the most, that is also picking up. Dr. Dubé says as we get into the midst of our respiratory virus season, there's no question that masking is something we can do as a community to prevent the spread of infections, especially to those who are at highest risk. We know that masks uh, can be very effective to help prevent the spread of infection to others, but also to protect ourselves from uh, infections that can spread through the air or through droplets, like through coughing or sneezing. With that being said, starting on Monday, the University Health Network has mandated that all patients, visitors and staff at UHN campuses will be required to wear a mask when receiving or waiting for care. It's one way that we can use all the tools that we have available to us as best as possible to try and prevent infections from circulating. During the week of October 6th, Ontario's dashboard recorded about 13% positivity rate of COVID-19 and less than 1% of the tests submitted came up positive for other respiratory viruses. But Dr. Hoda says those numbers are expected to rise. If you look at what's happened in previous years, around November is when we've started to see uh, enough of a rise in respiratory virus infections including not just COVID-19, but also influenza, uh, another virus called RSV, and then many other uh, respiratory viruses that we don't talk about as much. UHN aren't the only hospitals in the city making this change. Mount Sinai implemented similar rules last week, requiring masks in patient care areas, patient rooms and waiting rooms. Women's College requires anyone entering the building to wear a mask. And over at Sunnybrook Hospital, all visitors must wear a mask when in contact with patients and residents. Now, as we inch closer and closer to the holiday season and we see an uptick in illnesses, public health officials are reminding the public that the best way to protect yourself from viruses is to wash your hands, wear a mask, stay in well-ventilated areas, and to get your vaccines. Rianne Campbell, City News.